right, let's talk about powders. We got a lot here to go through. Um, first up, Cody Airspun Loose Translucent, I forget what it's called, Loose Face Powder, and this is in Naturally Neutral. Um, this is going nowhere. You guys saw it was in my Used and Abused makeup tag. Um, I'm getting pretty low on there. I'm going to have to repurchase at some point, um, but I love it. It's great if I want to bake. This is the one that I go to, one, because it's affordable, and two, because it works really well. So it's great when you want to bake because you waste a lot of product. product, product. <laughs> I feel like you waste a lot of product baking, so this is a great option to go for and just to pack it on and not feel bad because it is very affordable, so this is going nowhere. Another product going nowhere is a Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder or Long Lasting Pressed Powder, and this is in Transparent. Um, this is probably my fourth pan, so obviously I love this product and it's not going anywhere. It's staying, it works great. Um, another relatively new product from Rimmel that's also staying is this InstaFix uh, it, it's still ready. Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. This is fantastic, and actually I've been testing it out. I recently got it, been testing it out, but I think it's a good dupe for the this NARS powder that we'll get to in a minute, but it does a great job at keeping my um, under eyes from creasing. So this has been fantastic. It gives me a very flawless look to my under eyes, and I love it. Another product that I'm keeping because I'm still not um, sure about my thoughts on it is this Essence All About Matte, uh, what is it called? Fixing Compact Powder. Um, this has been great so far. It reminds me a lot of this. So I want to kind of test these side by side, like one on each eye, and figure out which one is better because these are both really affordable at the drugstore, easily accessible. So I'm curious to see which one is better, and maybe I'll do kind of comparison post on my blog sharing with you once I finish figuring that out which one is better and at that time whenever I figure out which one's better maybe I'll pass the other along but at this point I'm still testing those. Alright let's go ahead and just talk about this NARS powder because I think this is the most expensive product I have in my collection. This is the NARS uh, translucent crystal powder. Um, I bought this after hearing um, Nicole from Young Wild and Polish rave about it all the time. You know, I just see her repurchase this all the time and say well, how fantastic it is under her eyes and just how it sets her under eyes beautifully, doesn't crease, it just makes her eye under eyes look better. So I had to get it and try it out because as you guys know, I have a lot of lines under my eyes, so anything to help my powder not crease and just to give more of an airbrush look under there, I am willing to spend the extra money. Um, I've been loving it so far, I will say that. Um, her recommendation is spot on, it's very, very nice, but as I said, I think I found a dupe. I'm still testing, so don't, don't rush out and buy this expecting for this, because I have not finished testing and and, and uh, what do you call it, concluding my thoughts on it yet, but this is a really fantastic product. And I spent so much money on it, I'm not passing it along. I'm going to keep using it and keep uh, trying to find a good dupe, a good affordable dupe for this. So Something I can get rid of is this Clinique powder. Um, I honestly, I don't think I even use this um, because if you can tell, I mean, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but in person, this is way too dark. And I kept it because, so the company sent this to me as PR, and I kept it thinking like maybe in the summer I'd be able to try it out and test it and then write a review on it, but I never got dark in the summer because I got pregnant and I stayed inside. Um, so anyway, uh, it's just stupid to hold on to a powder thinking one day I might eventually get dark, so I'm going to pass this along. Okay, another product I'm getting rid of is this e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I think I've had this for like got to be four years. It was before I got married and we've been married for three years. So it's really old and I keep holding on to it thinking maybe I'll use it and try it out and love it. But I just don't like how fine it is. I don't know. It's super duper fine. Like it's the kind where when you put your fingers together, they just like feel so silky. And um, they remind me of these two, these two high end um, powders. But since it reminds me of these two, I'd rather just keep these tiny little jars. A, because they're a bit newer, so maybe they're not expired like this one is. But um, they're high end, so they're a little bit more finely milled, a little bit more fancier. And they're smaller jars. And I rarely reach for this type of setting powder where it gives you that silky, silky feel. I don't know why, I just don't prefer it. Anyway, I've gone through a couple declutters and I've come so close to decluttering this every time. And I'm always like, no, I'll keep it. Maybe I'll start using it. Maybe I'll love it. It's only six bucks. but. I never use it. Like since that last time that I almost got rid of it, I've never used it. So 
it's just stupid to keep. And since we're just talking about that, let's talk about these. These also are that same type of powder. And um, this one I've actually used a really good bit. I don't know if you can see, it's like, let's see. It's like down to here. Over half of it is gone, <laughs> whoops. Um, and then this one is a relatively new uh, addition to my collection that I've been trying. I am gonna keep both of these because I do like to have them in my collection to try and just kind of change up kind of what I use on the daily. And I just like that they're smaller so they don't take up as much space, but they are still that type of really HD, very super fine, silky type of loose powder. So I like to have it in my collection and this is just a lot smaller than that e.l.f. packaging one. Okay, another product that I'm getting rid of is a Celebration Foundation SPF 50 from It Cosmetics. Um, I was excited when I got this. It was a like a little PR package that they sent out because I really do like their Celebration Foundation um, powder line, but it's just too dark. Um, and then this is their light version that I will be keeping instead. So this is their Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. I like their Celebration Foundation just a tad bit more. I really don't know why. Maybe it gives me a little bit more coverage. I don't know, but I really only need one powder foundation because I am not someone who, you know, skips the liquid powder, a liquid foundation and just does powder. Most days I have liquid foundation on. So this is just... I like to have at least one or two just for the days if I'm in a super big hurry or I just don't feel good that I can put some powder on my face that gives me enough coverage to kind of even out my skin tone. So this just is just a little too dark. It's just a tint too dark, which is why I kept it and thought I could make it work, but it didn't look good the day I wore it. So I'm gonna just keep the light and pass this medium one on. And then the only other powder foundation that I will be keeping is this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless powder. Um, this is a great kind of like drugstore alternative to that. It gives me a little bit of coverage um, and I actually use this sometimes if my liquid foundation was a little too light, I'll use this to kind of help darken things up and just kind of color correct and make it a little bit closer to my match. So this is great to have. I mean, this will work too, but I'm gonna keep both of these because those are the only pressed powder foundations that I have. Moving on, this Ofra pressed powder oil control. I haven't used this in a while. This just isn't something I reach for. The packaging isn't that nice. It feels super cheap. I know that's really superficial to say that I don't reach for a product because of the packaging, but I don't know. I never, <laughs> I never reach for this thing. It's fine. It kind of reminds me of one of these, either of these two products. Um, and I like these more and those are more affordable. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm a couple months ago, but I never reached for it. I'm just going to pass it along. This also I'm going to pass along is a transparent veil from Your Minerals Sweden. Um, I believe I got this in a BoxyCharm as well months and months ago. And I've come close to decluttering it many times and I just kept saying, oh no, maybe I'll use it. I have yet to use it, so I'm passing it. All right, this is fairly new to my collection. It's a Bare Minerals duo what is it called transparent powder duo um, and it's got a mattifying side and a glowing side I'm going to keep it I think this came in my August box maybe July box I can't remember but um, it's really nice I really like the mattifying side for underneath my eyes and I really like this to highlight I'm a very neutral subtle subdued girl when it comes to highlights so this gives me just a little sparkle on the top of my cheeks with just a tiny bit of shimmer and that's all I, I want or need. So this is a great little duo for me to have. I feel like I'm gonna definitely go through this faster than I go through this side, but I like this duo. I like having it and I've been, I've been reaching for it even after testing it. Two products I'm keeping because I have not really tested it out is um, the Derma Blend Professional Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Um, this is a relatively new purchase that I have in my collection. This puff is super huge, I don't know why. But this is relatively new to my collection. I haven't used it enough to really formulate a good um, review or thoughts on it. So I need to keep it and use it a bit more. But um, the, the times I have used it, I've liked it. and No complaints, really. So, But I'm going to keep it because I want to try it more. And this, this is also, it's not new, but I just I keep forgetting to use it and see if I like it. This is Mary Kay's Translucent Loose Powder. Um, the reason, one of the reasons I'm keeping it is, is because I can lock this. Like this is so cool. Like here it is opened and then I can dump the powder I need and then I can do this and lock it and nothing comes out. So I've actually been giving this to my daughter to play with and pretend for her to pretend to put powder. Like she has a big play brush and she dips it in here and puts powder on her face. So I love that she hasn't figured out that this can move yet. 
So it's a great kind of backup powder to have if she's really getting antsy while I'm doing my makeup and I want to give her something to distract her. I give her this in a big like cheap powder brush that I have and then she'll sit there and just put powder on while I can finish up my face. So really dumb reason to keep this. But at the same time, I haven't tried this so I do want to give this a try. So I'm keeping both of these. All right, Tarte Loose Powder. This is a little too dark. I think I'm going to try to um, sell this because I did purchase this myself. It's light to medium skin tones with with yellow and pink undertones. I don't know, every time I wear this, I feel like my face looks way too dark. Um, maybe I'll try it one more time and see. I don't know, if not, I think I will try to resell it on like a Facebook group or something so someone else can use it because I've really only used it maybe like three times. And every time I've tried it, I feel like my face looks way too dark. Maybe, I don't know, maybe if I self tan, I'm just way too busy to self tan these days. I'm going to I'm going to put this in my de declutter pile for now. I just hate that I spent so much money on it and it doesn't work for me because it, it seems like a nice powder. Um, next or last up is the uh, Lux Translucent Setting Powder. This is from Glow Minerals. Couldn't see the the brand name. There is a powder that goes to here. This is another one that locks, so this is a great one also to have for my daughter. But um, I really like this powder, actually. It's very fine, kind of reminds me of the same kind of very fine formula as these two, or this Derma Blend, Derma Blend one. I really don't need to have that many of them, but I want to keep it and keep using it. Maybe I'll declutter it in the future, but for now, I enjoy using it, and um, it's great to have a product that locks to give to my daughter because then she can't make a mess with the powder. And it's great for travel too. That locking mechanism is really nice. So you, you know, when it's going all over in your bag, you're not getting excess powder everywhere and then wasting it, yada, yada, yada. But all that to say, I'm keeping it. All right, so it didn't do as well with the powders, but I'm keeping 13 powders and I'm getting rid of I'm only getting rid of six here, but um, as you can see, I like my powders, and I like, like powders for different things, and I don't know. I don't feel too bad. I'm glad I got these out of my collection because these were the ones that I knew I wasn't reaching for ever, so I will pass those along to someone else.